Well, Andrew has fits by the short and the curlies, doesn't he? Welcome to Scandal Night. Did y'all see Fitz? <laughs> that is a man in love, yo. That man is walking around the White House looking like, they got my boo. They got my boo. That man is looking like Tyrone Biggums with the white with the white crust and all. Like, he don't know what to do with himself. And how cold is Andrew. That nigga said, cold world, no blanket, yo. I don't give a damn. You ain't got no friends in this bitch. You can't talk to nobody. Andrew was so cold with it, he had Fitz whispering dead in Melly's mouth. I mean, I'm talking about like in the cavity spaces of her mouth just so that he could tell her. P.S. If I'm in the middle of talking and a man hit me with one of these, I'm smacking him dead in his face, yo. I don't... I ain't got no type. You do. You hit me with one of those, you get one of these. Dead in the face. Dead in the lip. How disrespectful was that? Fitz was so distraught, he didn't even know how to break it down. He just, I would have been pissed, yo. Can we talk about this Fitz face, though, for a second? Yo, Fitz's angry baby face is a kid to lip, lives lip quiver. Like, Fitz, <laughs> Fitz, Fitz out here looking like a scrunched up rat. You ever see kids? You ever see kids mad and they just they don't know what to do, so they just scourge everything up at the same time. Listen, <laughs> listen, boo. Listen, I understand they got your girl. You know what I'm saying? I understand you like you really hurt on the inside parts, but don't 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 do that. Cause you don't look mad. You just look you look pathetic. You you got the lid lip quiver. It what? It's not good for your gangster boo. It's not. You get no street cred looking like that. There's the Huck we know. Out here gladiating in this bitch. Huck fucked oh. Lizzie Bear up, y'all. Listen, I know my moral compass is off, but I'm glad he did it. I'm glad Huck got in that ass because that broad deserved it. Okay? That's all I got to say about that. You shouldn't have put on them cleats if you wasn't get ready to get on the field. You shouldn't have put on them, them hot top Jordans if you wasn't get ready to get your ass on the basketball court. You should not have put on that helmet if you wasn't ready to play football, okay? That's what you get, Lizzie Bear, for playing a game you did not want to have no parts of. You should have kept your vagina to yourself. Can I just issue tonight's first <laughs> slow clap? Because every time Secret Service Agent Tom likens live to Helen of Troy, like the, the history and literature buff in me, it just gets so excited because that that analogy is everything, yo. It's everything. And see the servant, Agent Tom didn't ask for none of this shit. He didn't ask to get paired with a philander and ass president, right? He didn't ask to be part of B613, which just happened to be led by fucking Rowan, which just happened to be Liv's dad. You know what I mean? The, the, the man is, is in like uh, between a rock and a hard place and a pile of, of of hot, stinking bullshit and a big ass pot of hot water. Like, he really didn't have no place to turn. It's not his fault. I have a soft spot. My heart bleeds for Secret Service agent Tom. Okay, that did, she said, Where is the black lady girl? Not the wannabe. <laughs> Abby girl, stay with it. Mayor from 227 about to blow this case wide open, y'all. And this is why at the end of the day, I'm trying to get this camera angle right, y'all. Forgive me. This is why at the end of the day, you have to love Olivia Pope. You have to. You know why? Because Liv is resourceful, right? She dropped a breadcrumb everywhere she did the glass then she dropped the ring you know what i'm saying now she had she she told ian to sell her on the, on the black market which i think that was a little crazy i don't i don't think that was a smart idea but hey it made sense to her so she did it i just i, I this is why i love me some olivia pope how do you be that smart and that fly all at the same time listen I, if that happened to me i not to be like here hey listen I would have did what you did. Y'all gonna bring me this uh, macaroni and cheese and this dream sickle and put this bullet in my head because I'm ready to go. Take me to the king. Take me to the king because I'm over this bullshit. I... Be clear. Either Liv is a genius or she didn't lost her goddamn mind. P.S. In case y'all were wondering, this is how I feel about Ian. I hope Olivia gets the bus Ian down to the white meat. Well, white er meat. <laughs> this is why... This is 
why Shonda continues to be so nasty and so rude and yet so lovable because when it comes to Melly's character, you don't know. Every episode you feel very different about her. Like sometimes you want to hate her. Sometimes you want to love her. Sometimes you want to feel compassion for her. You know what I'm saying? Like she's in this episode working her jelly for Fitz who she loves but is not in love with because he's in love with Liv. It's all just, you know what I'm saying? Like, and now she's helping Lizzie Bear. Like, I, my heart pulls for her in different ways every week. I don't know. And this is the genius that is Shonda Rhimes because she writes these f deeply flawed, horrible, wonderful, amazingly human characters that you just get attached to and you want to pull them apart and then put them back together. Okay, so here's what I want. I want David Rosen to stop giving a damn about that white hat because clearly nobody cares about the white hat anymore, David. Nobody except for you. I guess maybe that's like your trophy, like your totem. You know what I mean? Like your horcrux or whatever. That's what keeps you connected. I personally feel like the white hat is like, bye. I want David to stop giving a damn about the white hat I want Abby to be a gladiator and chuck the deuces to the White House because these hoes ain't loyal and you can't be a minion and be a gladiator. Like, just stop. She's just, she's not even good at being a minion, a White House minion. You know what I'm saying? She's just a good gladiator. Like, that's where you belong, you know? And I want Mama Pope to come back. <gasps> when I saw Mama Pope in the clip for next week's episode, that's when I knew that Liv had not lost her mind. Liv was genius. Because what better way to get chatter going so that Huck could find her, but to get her out on the market, right? And what better way to get Mama Pope out of jail than to get her on the black market? You see what I'm saying? Like, this is going to good y'all especially because mama pope is crazy is she gonna save Liv? is she gonna help them or not because clearly Liv. so Liv did what god told her not to do she forsook her parents right she for she because if she had not tried to shoot rowan last two weeks ago she wouldn't have been in this bullshit to begin with so now you know she left candy alexander look at this look at this you see this you see this disrespectful ass curl on the top of my head i'm trying to close out my video the girl's being disrespectful okay she left Candy Alexander in the jail cell before we went on winter break. So now, is she going to help her? Or is she going to is she going to leave her there? Is Huck going to be able to find her? How is this all going to work out? Ah! This is why we all come back. This is why we come back week after week because we are addicted to Shonda Rhimes' rude, crude disrespectfulness because it's like a drug. We tap our veins. We tap our veins every Thursday night. It's really quite shameful we'll probably tap this vein actually that's more <laughs> that's better <laughs> um my second slow clap of the week goes out to my co-workers uh because you told me that my video was too long uh you explained how i should edit it and my co-workers made gifts out of my reactions guys Classic moments. I, a, a girl like me, I can't fucking complain. Who could complain? I've got my own fucking gift. I'll put the tags below. Shout out to Vahi, Chris, Aaron, Danny, and Shasta. All of you guys watch my video, and I appreciate you. And I will see y'all next week. And if you don't watch Scandal, get to watching.